give us the balance sheet. We're going to go in and we're going to start digging in and testing things out. As we start looking at larger companies, however, the larger the company is, the more internal controls we're going to need. We're going to need a system that's going to be set up. And you can think of this similar to as a system set up for, say, a government that's very large, where you have the checks and balances. That's, in essence, what internal controls are. The larger the company, the more internal checks and balances that need to be in place and the more we need to rely on them both in the construction of the accounting system and the business system as well as within the auditing process so more and more with the growing size of companies they are becoming more reliant on internal controls and we as the auditor if we want to have a, an accurate audit in a time frame that's reasonable must also look into these internal controls uh, especially when we're talking about larger companies now if you're talking about small companies note that the internal controls are going to be less because you need less internal controls with when we're talking about a smaller type of company and we as the auditor then seeing that there are less internal controls will will make adjustments for that if that's the case as well and do more testing of them but really key really important are the internal controls then the management is going to have the uh, conducts the actual transactions the financial transactions that are going to happen the year is going to go by they're going to have financial transactions all year long they're going to conduct those and they're going to record and compile the information debits and credits are going to be recorded here to compile the the information accumulate transactions into account balances they're of course going to take that we can imagine this is what the company is doing this is general ledger accounting the company the management responsible for this taking those transactions compiling them into balances say a trial balance we can imagine trial balance being put together then they're going to take that information and prepare financial statements which of course is the end result that they would then be processing and use if we're talking about a publicly traded company they're required to have the financial statements that are going to be put together if they're not publicly traded they want them for internal use and possibly for to get a loan or something like that so the end result representing what something has been done in terms of financial accounting according to generally accepted accounting principles are of course financial statements balance sheet income statement statement of cash flows and then the financial statements are issued to users who are the users uh, if it's a publicly traded company we're typically thinking about